All right, now that this is out of the way, let's make an actual tier list. Let's let's start with the top. Let's start with the top. What characters do I think are OP? Dude, I'm confusing myself. I, I have to put S plus. I have to put S plus. Thank you. I think Pac-Man is really really good. Spine car, 21. She got like top 33. We'll see. Let's think. Amongst the top tiers, where do I want to put characters? I think I had Pika an A+. Plus. Maybe I'll give Pika a little more credit. Uh, I think Lysina is not that good. Um, I don't think Sora is that good, if I want to be honest. I'd have to see it. I think Sephiroth sucks. Uh, I think Falco is pretty solid. I think Falcon's Punish game is really good. I think Greninja's better on paper. Oh my god, he's so big. I think PT's still really good. Um, it kind of makes me sad a lot of people are dropping PT, but I also have trouble against PT, so I don't care. <laughs> Woo, Steve's annoying. If Steve sucks in Japan, Japan players, please teach me how to beat Steve. Sonic has some really stupid stuff. Uh, I've I've been exposed. I've been exposed. Uh, I'm not too excited about Terry. Toon Link's better in Japan. Uh, let's put Toon Link there. Inkling! Sure. Mm, I think Mario's really good. Pichu is better in Japan. I need, I need to let my own personal biases down. Is Daisy on this list and no Peach? I don't. I don't think Peach is that good, bro. Peach is so slow. That's just how I feel. And uh, you know what? You know what? Violet's slow. But Peach is floaty and slow, and doesn't have auto upbeat. And uh, no, no. I'm leaving Peach there. I'm leaving Peach there. Uh, I don't think Ike's that great. I think Ken's too hot. I think I put Wolf in this tier. I'm not a Wolf believer. Uh, I I think Wolf is incredibly solid, but I think I think it's really hard to succeed with Wolf at the higher levels. But you know what? Wolf gets the job done. I think Jigs is ridiculous, uh, but Jigs probably has really bad matchups. But I think in a bracket, you don't always have to fight uh, your bad matchups. Goodbye, K. Rule. ICs aren't even that good, and I get destroyed by them. Sorry, Piranha Plant. Piranha Plant did get buffs, though. I think Game and I don't want to say I think Game and Watch is falling off because I think Meister is getting low rolls and uh, you know some other things. Um, but I feel like the meta is not favoring Game and Watch as much. I think that is a fair thing to say. I think the meta is moving further away from what Game & Watch would like. So I feel like Game & Watch... Uh, there was a point where I thought Game & Watch was like top 5, but I, I think Game & Watch is slowly getting worse. Oh, uh, I, I even think Zero Suit's getting worse. Like, who would have thought I would think Zero Suit's getting worse? Ah, <sighs> that's a hard thing to admit. And you know what? I have an ego. Haha, <laughs> suckers. Uh, uh, do, uh, do I want to put Marth here? I don't know, bro. I do think Krom is a little worse than Roy. Uh, I think Kazuya is ridiculous. If this is ridiculous here. Kirby sucks. I hate Young Link. This character's OP. Yoshi, I don't think, is in a favorable meta or game. I think Olimar is getting worse. I think Olimar is getting a lot worse, actually. I don't think Lucas is that good. Ah, <sighs> Little Mac. Meta Knight's solid, but somebody needs to push Meta Knight's meta. I think Link's getting worse. Um, Dr. Mario. Incineroar is getting better, surprisingly. Surprisingly, Incineroar is getting better. Uh, I'm not a corn believer. Corn could be here. Corn could be here. I'm, I'm not that much of a non-corn believer. Uh, we fit's not bad. Ganon's pretty bad. Oh, Palu. Palu's still a meta controller. No matter what, I think Palu will be really good. 
I think it's funny that Pac-Man's the only one up here, by the way, uh, for now. Maybe maybe I move Pac-Man down here for now. Uh, I think Mewtwo's, Mewtwo's solid. I haven't seen good Mega Man gameplay in a while. Uh, I think Lucario sucks. I'm not a Lucario believer. Does Dark Pit get rid of Pit? Is, is there no Dark Pit and Pit? Oh, jeez. I think, I think Pit's solid. I don't think Dark Pit's that solid. I think Brawler's up here. Oh, hey, look, it's Peach. Wait, where'd Daisy go? Get out of here, Daisy. Peach. I'm going to play. Uh, I think Cloud's pretty good. I think Cloud's good enough. I think Cloud's good enough. That's what I always say. Shulk! Shulk's good in Japan. Uh, Joker. Joker's really good. I don't think well of Duck Hunt. Sorry, DDD. Sorry, Isabel. I think Zelda's solid. Uh, I actually don't know about the Miis. You guys think if I put them in a random spot, people are going to question me? Cool. Random spot obtained. I, I think Hero. Let's move Incineroar up here. Mm, I'm not the biggest Rosalina fan. I think Samus is getting better, if I want to be completely honest. Donkey Kong. Bowser Jr. I'm not the Oh, hey, here's Pit. Pit, you go up here. Dark Pit, you go down there. Boozer. As much of a Bowser hater as I am. I think he's solid. Bale's probably better than I put her. Uh, Belmont's, Belmont's pretty good. Bob, thank you for the prime. The thing about Belmont's, I hear they just have really bad matchups and really good matchups. But it's not like some really bad matchups here, they just have really bad matchups. I'm not a Ridley believer, but Ridley's not this bad. Uh, Robin's, Robin's not bad. Yeah, I'm not a Ryu believer. Ryu is better than I put him now. Let's put Ness here. Mmm. I still think Min Min is really good. I think Aegis are really good. Ooh, and then the really, really, the one a lot of people are waiting for. Daisy. Yeah, Daisy's in about the same spot as uh, Peach, PBH. Yeah, I, I think that's the full list. I think that's the entire list. Not missing one character at all. Nope. No, 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 no. So let's see. Who do I actually think is good out of the top tiers? Let me let me start organizing a little. I actually think Pac-Man's really good. I think Rob is really good. The one thing I think about these two characters, I feel like they will have really good bracket paths no matter what. Uh, where Rob is so simple to me that he doesn't have many weaknesses when it comes to like the tournament level. <clears throat> Except that he's just so, he's so large. He's so large and in charge. But, I think Rob is just insane. Rob's character representation is very high. Uh, and I feel like that alone, to me, would make Rob a meta-defining character. Even if it's not by pure strength, I think representation. While Pac-Man's the opposite. Pac-Man does not have representation. T is just ridiculous. T is just ridiculous. Hmm. I think my last top five, I made it to where the S plus are like the S tiers that I think will have the most success. Uh, I wonder who else I put there. I, I want to not reference my last tier list. I also want to change certain things. One thing too uh, to think about, Smash Road Tour will be affecting my opinion. It has affected my opinion. I'm influenced by the results there. Uh, and Smash Bros. Tour had online qualifiers. What online qualifiers meant was there was a lot of Rob, Sam, or Rob, Snake, Sonic, Olimar, and Young Link. I actually think these characters do good even in an offline bracket. I want to be completely honest. Uh, I think these characters just succeed really well. But I feel like out of, out of them, I feel like Rob succeeds the best. Uh, Rob has uh, Rob has like. Snake's disadvantage if Snake could just cipher over and over. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. Um, so of course I'm gonna have to put him here. I think Aegis are really good. Uh, I think the amount that people complain about him is too high. Um, we've literally lived through games where 
like five out of the top eight will be one character in Meta Knight and uh, uh, maybe not five Bayos, but there was a lot of Bayos at one point. I don't think Aegis are too much of a problem really because the players who are succeeding with Aegis would probably succeed anyway. And I feel like people are not taking that into account. You know? Like, Spargo, Cosmos, and even Leo have shit on all of us with different characters. I don't think that uh, that would change, if I want to be honest. So that, that's kind of how I feel about Aegis. I think they're good. I think they're good, don't get me wrong, but, you know, nothing wrong with being good. There's nothing wrong with being good. There's one successful pack? Yeah, and he's very successful. T is so successful that if he's in your bracket path, you're fucked if you don't have an answer. That's how successful the one Pac-Man is. And you know what other character is that successful? Byleth. Byleth is that successful. Uh, I don't actually think Byleth is this good. Uh, I'm just saying that Byleth also fits the criteria. Uh, I'm not going to put Byleth in that category. Because I feel like Byleth actually... Byleth, Byleth has more weaknesses than Pac-Man. Yeah, I, I don't think Byleth uh, actually deserves to be in this tier. But I think Byleth is in the upper uh, tier of characters. Uh, another character people would want to put here is Pikachu. I'm actually not a Pikachu believer. I talk about it all the time on stream about the weaknesses I think Pikachu has. Uh, while Isam did win a major with Pikachu, uh, personally I'm not the biggest Pikachu believer. That's, uh, that's all there is to it if people are wondering why I won't move Pikachu up. Um, one character I actually think is in like the upper echelon of characters. Ah, and I, I hate to say this because I, I know I know what other people are saying or thinking, but I, I feel like Palu. A lot of Palus have been rising up and doing really well, and I feel like Palu is just always a really good meta controlling character. My S plus isn't about strength. Remember this. My S plus is not about strength. My S plus is a lot more about accessibility. I'm not saying Palu is better than the characters in S. But I am saying Palus will probably have more success overall than like the characters in S. Because Palu's just, she's a really good character to play. You have really good matchups, you have really good stages, you have really good win cons. You know? I think Palu overall actually is really successful uh, even moving into the top levels of play, which is the same reason why I have Rob here, it's the same reason why I have Aegis here. Pac-Man is, if you can get your Pac-Man to that level, I, I have infinite faith in Pac-Man. I have infinite faith in Pac-Man. Pack is crazy. Wolf is very accessible, but uh, I don't know if I can put Wolf there. I might only have a top four this time around because I feel like. Let's look. I don't feel like Joker is accessible. I don't think Pika, Byleth are accessible. I feel like Snake and Sonic are on the weaker side. I don't feel like Min Min's accessible. Shulk isn't accessible. Xerxes is not accessible. I feel like Wolf is on the weaker side. Uh, I feel like Mario's on the weaker side. I feel like Steve isn't accessible. I feel like Lucina's on the weaker side. I feel like Roy is very accessible, if I want to be completely honest. Uh, Fox is not accessible. Diddy is not accessible, and PT are not accessible. In the sense that I feel like these characters, uh, to me, are just on the weaker side of the S tier characters, to where I, I would even debate moving them down. And these characters, I think, are really hard to just pick them up and play, as much as people will complain about any of them, myself included. Um, I feel like out of them, Roy is actually the most accessible. Game & Watch is accessible, he's easy to play, but I feel like Game & Watch is falling off due to where the meta is moving. The meta is moving towards a lot more um, disjoints, everybody's playing campy because we realize, you know, we can. What do you mean by accessible? Uh, representation is a good way to put it. How many players are playing that character, and how many players are succeeding with that character? Yeah. And also, like how easy it is to pick up, uh, how easy it is to pick up your character, you know, stuff like that. So, uh, with that being said, I would say if you want to get good at ultimate, play one of these characters. Uh, I would move Roy up. 
I think these characters have the best chances of succeeding in the top tier. Um, but I think any of the characters in here can succeed to the same amount. It just might take uh, a little more work or, you know, a better bracket path or maybe you want to avoid certain players, you know? I think that's kind of how I feel with... Uh, th that's usually how I think of the upper meta of um, Smash Ultimate. One more time. Uh, I would consider this. this. This S area, this is top tier to me. Which, a lot of the characters that fell here, let's look. Uh, I'll put Young Link here. Uh, let's get Daisy out of there. The only character left. Almar, Peach, Kaz... I think Kazuya is good. Game & Watch, Falcon, Wario. Young Link? Oh, I have, I have Falco here. Wow. I have, I have Jiggly... Oh my god, I have so much faith in these characters. Cloud should be here. Mm, anybody here that should move up? Maybe Ken... But I, I think things are actually really hard for Ken. Yeah, I think this is good. So these characters, I, I just... I, I don't feel like... Even Young Link. Even Sephiroth. Even Greninja. Oh, I have Luigi up here? Wow, I have, I have faith in Luigi. I feel like these characters, it's a lot harder. It's a lot harder to pull it off, if I want to be completely honest. Where... If I watch these characters play at the top level, I feel like it is a struggle. Well, they ha they have very high highs. Characters in this game have very high highs. But I feel like there's a lot of very easy lows that exist in this tier and in the further bracket paths. So, <clears throat> I'm, uh, I would drop these characters. There was a point where I had Pikachu here. I moved Pikachu back up. Kind of have a little more faith in Pikachu as time goes on. Uh, but I feel like... I feel like for me, Pika will always be in this eternal area. I also get proven wrong, which is very possible. Uh, Jigs? Dude, Jigs? Jigs can... I, I've always had Jigs high. This is definitely base mage influence. Uh, I can't be wrong, but I feel like Jigs does really good in a lot of matchups. But Jigs also does really bad in a lot of matchups. But I'm down for the highs. Like, I feel like Jigs against, like, Roy... Uh, sometimes you just maybe uh, Diddy it can even be Fox you can work on like some zero suit the Byleth even Joker I feel I feel like Min Min or not Min Min Jigs Jigs can work really well against a lot of the strong characters and another character that can do really good against a lot of the strong characters uh... <clears throat> anyway I feel like these characters it's it's a lot harder nowadays for these characters to easily succeed. Not to say that they can't succeed. I feel like a lot of people put like a big differential here. There's not too big of a difference. I feel like it's just a lot easier. We have a giant roster. A lot of characters can do a lot of things well. And low key, I would say that these these characters can do a lot of things well. A plus and above. I feel like A, you're struggling. I feel like A characters are struggling and I feel like everything below that can be a little rough. Uh, everything here isn't nothing's ordered within tiers by the way Don't uh Don't take that as is you know, what? you know, what? you know what? Ness is better than Ness is better than that Yoshi and Mega Man wait, I don't think I don't think they are I Don't think I don't think Yoshi is uh, I don't think Yoshi's as solid as they could be same thing with Mega Man. I feel like the the game is getting the game's getting so much scarier in my opinion and so much more like refined and a lot of characters aren't that, that's why I feel like certain characters are scrolling down and certain characters are scrolling up yeah a and lower seems like secondaries yeah matches are po dude top players are getting three stocked in top player matchups you know it's getting a lot harder. I think the top tier is getting a lot more refined. There's no way Ryu's that bad. Will this will this help? Does, does that help? <laughs> are, you, are you guys done asking about Ryu? He's not good. He's not good. Whether he's in B or B plus, it doesn't matter. He's not gonna get used that successfully, in my opinion. Yoshidora? Yoshidora is an anomaly. 
Yoshidora is an anomaly. I don't think Ryu's that good. I think it's tough. Uh, if I ordered things within tiers, this would take very, very, very long. Uh, I'm not really that interested in getting nuances like that uh, figured out. But I definitely think these guys are the worst. It's crazy how good DK is, and he's so bad. You guys agree? I guess you're god on Ike, you are. Uh, if you guys have a lot of like, wow, this character, Ryu's not worse than Wii Fit. Sure, you can, you can run home with it. I, I don't mind very much. Um... The main thing for me, I feel like these characters are really good. I feel like these characters can be really good. I feel like these characters are not really good. Let's put a space. What is this? Huh? Is this ordered? Oh, absolutely! Not? No, no. I'm, I'm not gonna order it. Mm. Oh, is Mario above Luigi? I just think Mario's better. Was it Mario has Kurama and Wizzy? Luigi has Elegant. And Elegant's been going to stuff, but I just don't feel like Kurama and Wizzy have been going to stuff. You know? Oh, Elegant and Kirash. Kirash doesn't do too well. Wizzy hasn't done well. I think it's fine. Shows up. That's the thing, yeah. I, I wouldn't base too much of uh, character stuff based on who is going to stuff and who isn't. Mainly on the who isn't. I still think some characters are good even if people aren't going to stuff. Like, who the fuck's playing Joker? You guys are gonna question me putting Joker in S tier? Zachary, as far as I, last time, last thing I heard, Zachary's picking up Sheik. The buzz, thank you for the raid. <laughs> Carol's A tier. <laughs> Can I explain Pac-Man? Uh, I think, I think if T is present at a tournament, you have to know how to beat Pac-Man. I think it's that big of a deal. Bioth and Joker are there because of Leo? No. No. 
No. Joker's dumb. People aren't succeeding with Joker, but Joker's dumb. And people are succeeding with Byleth, but Byleth's also dumb. Can you say the same thing? Exactly! You, you can't always base it off representation. Like, who's doing well with Steve? Yeah, I'm not- I'm not trying to, like, throw or, like, throw shots or anything. You know? There's a lot of characters that people aren't really doing well with. And there's a lot of characters that people are doing well with. That doesn't necessarily correlate to, uh, a lot of the stuff that I'm looking at. But I think Pac-Man, it's that big of a deal. I also think Pac-Man is just ridiculous. Didi, Yanni, and Jake. We have different definitions of well. <clears throat> Mute, Mute's doing really good with Peach, but I, I haven't been a fan of Peach for like a while, if you ask chat. Last time we saw Pokemon Trainer? Oh, it's been a minute. I still think PT's really good. I, I say it all the time, I still think PT's really good. Yanni did get ninth. Yanni did get ninth. You're not understanding it? Uh... These four are accessibility. I think these four characters at majority of majors, if you pick them up, uh, they'll have some of the most, in my opinion, they'll have some of the most representation. And uh, they do well across the board against like a lot of the cast. <clears throat> That's what I'm looking for. Like, I feel like this Joker into the left, it's harder to play these characters in, like, the environments that uh, people will be playing in. And I feel like these characters, uh, I feel like these characters, to me, they're a little weaker than the others, but they're a lot easier to play. Pac-Man feels like it's just T. You want me to move Pac-Man? Is that easier? Accessibility slash... You gotta know how to fight them. If the character is prominent, you gotta know how to fight them. But I can't, I can't like, name the thing super duper high. Or like, super duper a lot. You're just going by it? I know, I know. I'm just gonna move Pac-Man. It's easier this way. <clears throat> I don't, I don't hate fighting T. I like fighting T. T's fun to, T's fun to uh, fight. Can I explain the pits? Uh, I value Raptor Boost more than anything Dark Pit has. <clears throat> Why not F to D? I feel like this is fine. I feel like these characters suck. I feel like these characters are fine. Uh, mid tier, and then high tier above. I don't, I don't care that much about aimable arrows. Purely Raptor Boost. Purely Raptor Boost. The main thing about pack. <clears throat> Which I don't want a top 5 because I don't want to order it. Pac-Man's really good. I feel like Pac-Man is in my top 5 while these characters are not in like in terms of strength. I feel like Pac-Man's in my top 5 of strength. But Pac-Man's not in my top 5 of what's it called. But it's uh I don't I don't know who's in my top 5 of strength. That's the main thing. Put Pac Dude, Pac is ridiculous! Pac-Man's ridiculous! He's so good! Am I putting T as a top 5 player? Um... I don't know, I haven't thought of a- I haven't thought of the players right now. Wolf- I don't think Wolf is top 5 accessible, if I want to be honest. I don't think it's to the same degree. I think people are figure. I, I said this before, but I think people are figuring out Wolf. Like, I feel like the only reason I have Wolf here is because uh, he's accessible. Same thing with like Mario. Same thing with Lucina. Like, I, I feel like for for me. I feel like these five characters are not as strong as these characters. Uh, to an extent, even PT. Let's put PT here. I feel like these characters... Oh, PT's kind of in the middle. 
They're not as strong as these characters, but they're easier to play. <clears throat> That's the one thing with uh, these characters. And then these characters are really strong, in my opinion, but they're harder to play. Snake isn't easy to play. Oh yeah? Tell that to the four snakes in top 64 at every tournament, doing the exact same thing. <clears throat> Can I explain Violet? Violet's really good! I think Leo has shown the world that Byleth is actually a very strong character, in my opinion. Nair, aimbot up B, uh, burst option that kills, space tilts that kills, down tilt that kills, uh, up air that forces neutral air dodge, so you end up getting landing trap, just like Pyra's up air that people will probably complain about a lot, but they just look the other way for Byleth. Uh, amazing recovery. Byleth. And you have multi-hit Nair. Yeah, Byleth's good. Yeah, and a projectile, and a projectile. Optimal Marth? Uh, I, I don't I don't have faith in Optimal Marth, but I, I personally am... Uh, <laughs> I'm personally trying to play more Marth, just because just I think the character's fun. So, yeah, Penguino. Merry Christmas, James, 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 Charles. Sup? Heard about TG? Yeah. Most favorable matchups? Two, who has the least? Who's the exact middle? Most favorable matchups? Uh. Who has good matchups? Who has really good matchups? Who beats Pac Man, bro? Like, beats Pac Man. Apollo has really good matchups. I feel like Doc gets camped by everybody, but Ganon's double jump sucks. Um, middle of the list? Who's who's a middle of the list character? I'm gonna say me brawler. Wolf beats Pac-Man? I don't know if Wolf beats Pac-Man, man. But Wolf does really good. Half the cats gets Pika. -ed. I don't think Pika does good versus good characters, in my opinion. Not like good. Yeah. Ken and Ryu? I disagree. I think Ken is much better than Ryu. Have I looked at T's matchup chart? No, I haven't. Uh, I'm actually curious. Foodicorn? I think it was 20. You've been lurking a long time. Ooh. His list is wild. I usually have more wild tier lists. I don't, uh. I don't really see the game the same as a lot of other players. It's not like, ooh, I'm different. No, I just... This is just how I feel. I think the characters at the top of the tier list are the most relevant uh, meta characters, in my opinion, at the tournaments that I watch or am a part of. And I feel like if you can't beat those characters that you're going to run into in bracket, almost no matter what, you're going to have a bad time. I feel like S is the good characters. I feel like A plus is also the good characters, but I feel like S are better than A plus. And I feel like A is, is hit or miss. I play Sheik. Yeah, I, I just I, I don't I don't see the game very much the same. I, I look for like different traits. Uh which like let's for the for the sake of things, let's say let's say I wanted a uh strength strength tier list, right? Uh, what characters do I think are really strong? Because I feel like the higher up you go, it can be harder to succeed with all four of them, actually. Uh, I feel like a lot of people are liking Roy a lot more lately. Delta, I think, was the prime for 16. Nice. Jigs is better than Sora. I think Sora's double jump sucks, bro. But I also think Sora has the most potential to uh, move up. I, I need to see it. The only Sora I saw was week one Sora. And week one Sora was in week one Sora, you know? Um, so let's see. What characters do I think are strong? I think Zero Suit is worse than I initially thought. I think Joker is getting worse. Uh, I think Pac-Man's really good. 
I think Fox is really good. I think Aegis are really good. Um... I hate Shulk, bro. I hate Shulk. But I don't have to fight Komei every month, so I don't think Shulk's really good. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I had to fight Komei every month, I would not like Shulk. Um... Oh my god. Uh... Hmm... The thing about Fox is Fox is bad matchups. So it's, it's harder to, like, Fox is like bad matchups, but even his bad matchups, he's so fast, dude. He's so fast. Do you think this list would be different if I competed in more? No, no. I, I don't, I don't think this list matters that much, if I want to be honest. Anybody up to like here can probably win a major by themselves, and anybody up to here can probably win a major by themselves. I don't think I don't think strength matters that much in this game. It's not as drastic. Like in Smash 4, I felt like there was a pool of 10 characters to worry about and like 10 curveballs. In this game, there's a pool of like 25 characters to worry about and like 15 curveballs. So it doesn't matter that much in this game. Uh I feel like Steve is ridiculous, dude. I hate Steve. Uh, I'm not the biggest believer in these. I'm not a Pikachu believer. I'm a Joker believer. I still think Joker's really good. Not a Sonic believer, not a Wolf believer. Uh, if I had to make a top five, it would probably look something like that. Fox over Wolf? Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm a Joker believer. Where's she? Who? Anyway. If I had to make a top 5 power, like sheer power, unordered, well, I, I would think it's these 5 characters. I think these 5 characters are ridiculous. Um, while I think, um, <clears throat> in terms of accessibility, you will succeed without picking the 5 strongest characters more often than you will picking the 5 strongest. Uh, unless you're playing Aegis, because I feel like Aegis can work both ways. But I also feel like Aegis is a lot harder currently than people give him credit for. This could change. Don't quote me on that. It's a lot of fa I think Steve is really good. I think Steve's really good. Steve, uh, Steve's punish game is fucked up, bro. And you have block. Punish game or mix-ups? The thing that I value the most in Smash Brothers is mobility. I value mobility the most, because mobility makes you the most flexible when it comes to playing a matchup. Um, and I feel like being flexible is nice. Even in your bad matchups, it, uh, it works out really well. Steve, Steve might end up getting worse, but I need to see Steve get better before he gets worse, you know what I'm saying? But I have a lot of faith in Steve. Uh, if Steve were not there, uh, who would I put? I think Roy is getting a lot better, but I'm not a I'm not a Roy believer. I'm not a Roy believer. I'm much more of a Palu believer because I feel like Palu just fights a lot of characters really well. But I also feel like it's strange. I feel like Palu's disadvantage is getting blown back the more I. Uh, a lot of the times that I see it, but I feel like Paul is really good. Um, who else? Personally, I think Min Min's still really good. If I want to be honest, uh, maybe not in every matchup, but I feel like Min Min's overall character strength is really high. I feel like Roy's character strength is really high. Uh, I hate to say it, I think Sheik's character strength is really high. Um, I feel like PT's character strength is really high. I feel like Rob's character strength is really high. And zero two. So if this were something of like more of a normal tier list, this would probably look more like the tippity top. Uh. 
Um, but it isn't. It isn't. I, I like valuing how strong your character is in a bracket. And I feel like these characters are the strongest in a bracket. And I feel like that matters a lot more, in my opinion, in uh, Smash Brothers Ultimate than it does in uh, maybe some other games. Is Putin strong? Uh, I think so. I think so. You think Xerxes? A lot of people don't think Xerxes is that good. I think Xerxes is good for her mobility, and she can play a lot of matchups that aren't good uh, in really, really good ways. And I think that's very valuable. The weekend picture? It's a good picture. This is hard to Aegis, so she's bad. Yeah, Mizuru does good in a lot of matchups. And yeah, she's super mobile. Does this look worse than the Twitter one? Oh, my bad, Pink. My bad, Pink. I got you. Does it look good now? I got you. I got you. That's even worse? Shit. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? <clears throat> the only weird thing is Jigs? Uh, I'm fine with Jigs being high. I'm fine with Jigs being here too. I, I don't have too much. The, the This tier for me has always been a... Uh, you see these five? I feel like these five in all of my tier lists are in this exact same spot. The exact same spot where I feel like they're either at the edge of meta-defining. Luigi is there sometimes too, but I feel like Luigi is a lot better. They're either at the edge of meta-defining in my head, or they are right here above the Mewtwo Yoshi Toon Link. It's literally the exact same spot every time. But I, I, think, I think this is a good spot where I would put Jigs. Jigs is probably... This isn't ordered. Nothing here is ordered, by the way. Please, please keep that in mind. Yo, Phoenix, thank you for the 43. You see Byleth in top tier? Dude, Byleth's good. I hate this character. I'm not gonna front. One time I was doing a Metafy lesson and my uh, client was playing Byleth. And I was like, yo, you just need to do these things differently, right? <laughs> Bro, I was struggling for the rest of the lesson. I was struggling for the rest of the lesson. I was like, god damn. <laughs> like, that, that's it? <laughs> that's all it took? It was it was tough. It was tough. Yeah, it was it was good. It was good advice. I was like, God damn, bro. Um, let's let's change accessibility to um. I don't want to say easy. Cause if I say easy, people are gonna like people are gonna go crazy. Does that work? Is that even a word? Accessible. Exposed. Zagre said why he thinks highly of Sheik. Sheik doesn't have a disadvantage. You can play every matchup uh, very solidly as Sheik. The only one I have trouble with is Ice Climbers, and I kind of I know what I need to improve on. So, Byleth's not technical. It's not about how hard Byleth is. It's about how hard the opponents you're fighting are messing you up. It's the same thing with like Min Min. Min Min's not hard, but you know, when you fight certain opponents at certain skill levels, you're gonna get fucked. Like, I don't, I don't have faith in Peach. I think people are avoiding the Peach things that they need, and they're pushing her disadvantage harder. <clears throat> I also feel like meta shifts. Pe people aren't fighting. People aren't fighting close up as much as they, uh, as much as they could. Min Min isn't what? Okay, Min Min. To some people, Pink, you know what I mean. He's the most improved from launch. Uh, if you count buffs, uh, Sheik and Diddy. If you don't count buffs, Game and Watch, in my opinion. Game and Watch was really bad at launch. I don't think Game and Watch got buffs. Meister carried that character in irrelevancy. 
Um, wow. Who's fallen off the most? Uh, I say Ike. Ike was really good early. Um, and I feel like Ike's gotten a lot worse. It's still just Meister. Yeah, but I feel like Game & Watch as a whole has gotten better because of what Meister has like pushed with Game & Watch, you know? Even if it's still, uh, even if it's still just, um, Meister. I'm not gonna put Byleth in the, the common tier. Just for Twitter. There is slept. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Game and Watch. Game and Watch. Ike fell off because Leo stopped using him. And why do you think Leo stopped using him? Put Peach and Daisy. Peach and Daisy in different spots is pretty funny. I still think Ike's solid. Like, I, I can see myself losing to Ike in bracket. That, I feel like that's the thing with, like, ultimate tier lists, in my opinion. Dude, I can see myself losing to... This much of the bracket. <laughs> or this much of the cast. Like, if I'm playing my A game... You, you guys know the main stage? That I, uh, that I got fifth at. I was game three last hit against the Piranha Plant. In pools. Game three last hit against the Piranha Plant. I, like, I won by pixels. Like, literal pixels made me won. They went for a game winning up smash and it should have hit me and it just didn't. What happened there? I got fucked! I don't know what to tell you! And I, I think when people look at a tier list and they see a character low, they're like, my character's not low, my character can do things. That's the point. Your character can do things. Everybody in this game can do things. That's what makes it like, I think that's what makes a lot of people love playing the game, you know? Plant Cheek, I actually went Pichu because I didn't want to play Plant Cheek. <laughs> <laughs> It was Nurse, it was Nurse. The, uh, the, I think it was Canadian? Canadian plant player? Or Canadian commentator? Yeah. And a lot of characters in this game can do things. I think that's what makes the game, like, really cool. Like, when I fight, like, a low tier in Melee, and I'm playing Marth, I'm like... <laughs> no idea how to play this matchup, but I'm playing Marth, let's fucking go! And then when I fight a low tier in this game, I'm just like, fuck, fuck. Shit, they know everything I'm doing and I don't know anything they're doing. <laughs> Am I excited for the future? I'm never excited for the future of Smash. We have a seven minute timer. <sighs> Things are looking good though. I've never, I've never enjoyed uh, watching tournaments this much, but I don't want people to there, there's there's more important things than smash tournaments from like a spectator point of view. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna play stalling chic do it do it. It was accidental. It was accidental Okay, the only thing about this list is I haven't genuinely thought of where to put chic <laughs> but I, I feel like she's in a fine spot. Um, I, I don't think people will understand what I think about this tier. I would say these guys are here, in my opinion, and then these are all equal. Uh, so let's, let's actually, let's just create a new tier. S minus. Weaker but common slash accessible top tiers. Yeah, let's do this. Stronger, common slash, oh, uh, let's just do this. 
Borderline? Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, this is a good representation of how I see the game right now. <clears throat> Tweet, but don't say it's unordered. No, no, no. If you, if I ever tweet a tier list, immediately muting it. But I'm not tweeting this. If I tweet this, I'm sub goaling it. I hate tweeting tier lists. I also hate making YouTube content for tier lists because I feel like I get bothered for it for the next like two months. Uh, but you know what? Tier lists make good content. And I, I like I like seeing or I like sharing my opinions on the game, even if we don't see eye to eye, which is very likely because, you know, discussion's cool. Putting other people down isn't. And I like some good discussion. Fo I think I, I think Fox is better than Wolf. Compare this to my last tier list. Uh, I will. Let me uh, I, I've been snoozing my ads because we've been doing this for like an hour. You mostly, yeah, you, you can disagree with some stuff. Yeah, meta discussions are cool. I, I also, I really like the way I see the game. Uh, and I'm always down to like, discuss that with other people. I feel like if you're down to agree to disagree and you just want to like hear other people's points, discussions are so cool. But I feel like a lot of people treat discussions as a way to win, you know? And I don't feel like that's the point of uh, discussing things. You know, like, I want to discuss so that way we can like pick each other's brains, share some knowledge, some things I don't know about some characters or some things you don't know about some characters. We can, we can grow, we can grow. But yeah, some, some people treat it as like a win and I'm like, uh, let's be on YouTube. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe not tomorrow, but soon, probably before the year ends. It's not putting respect. I, 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 uh, I do have Yoshi lower than what he could be. Instead, I am choosing to respect some of the other characters, as I don't think Yoshi's that good in the meta that I watch. Right? It is crazy, dude. I, I was the worst thing is, I swear I could beat Leo's Byleth. <coughs> she clear. <laughs> But I, I just, I, I gotta admit, Leo makes Byleth look fucked up. That's just the facts. All right, chat, I'm gonna use the bathroom. I'll be RB. We can talk about the list a little more. Uh, but I might be doing this more weekly about different topics. Like, I want to make a tier list on who I think is the most underrated, who I think is the most overrated, advantage state, the best character with wings, a, a bunch of, like, random stuff. I feel like... I feel like it's cool. I think I'm finally like easing up to uh, tier list stuff. But yeah, uh, I think this is about it. We can talk about it a little more once I get back. I gotta pee. All right, LMBM, did it get canceled? No, right? You guys are just talking about like, what if? Yeah, tournaments right now are pretty, uh, they're happening, it's cool. Pound 2019 had eight snakes and 11 wolves. Jesus. The days. Early ultimate was snake, wolf, and Olimar. And then it turned into PT in the second half of 2019. Yeah, I still think snake's ridiculous. I actually think a lot of the snake players are not as good as they need to be. Follow well, sucks. All right. You know, you know, the easiest way to put Paulo next to DK is make your own tier list. That way, you can agree with it. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm easy, easy peasy. I have Link low. Uh, I feel like Link's getting worse. I'll have to see how Link matches against more of the uh, current meta. Now, a lighter Smash World Tour would be nice, but no biggie. <clears throat>
Mm -hmm. Alright, let me see. We're gonna call this tier list 90, 92. Why? Why not? Let's see if that works. Ooh, it does. Nobody's ever gonna find out my real tier list. See, this is the tech. Nobody finds out my real tier list, so they keep asking me questions about my Mimi ones. <clears throat> no, yeah, um... Genesis has a lot of a lot of people going. I don't feel the most uh, secure regarding it. I want to be honest. But such is the <coughs> such is the life. Yeah, I think I think Link's hella annoying to fight, but I need I need more data. Zachary thinks Ridley is the second best, like, big body? Mmm. I think that's fair. I hear Zachary's Ridley slaps, too. Do you think Pyramith is gonna ruin competitive play? Oh, absolutely! Absolutely! Yeah, they're, they're, they're nuts. That character is absolutely not fair. Don't don't listen to chat. Yeah, Foresight's kind of fucked up. <laughs> Bad or the absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Steve first though. <laughs> Steve first. <laughs> we should just play 1.0. Foresight's better bats. Ah, uh, it's a frame slower. Um, I don't know if bats is grabbable. <clears throat> Mithra and Power are fine. Absolutely, absolutely. Foresight's literally like saying no you to being in disadvantage. <laughs> so is neutral air dodge. <laughs> I might have even I might have eaten too much too fast. I might be full. Yeesh. Some people are I think I think a lot of people are waiting for Smash 6. New Smash games are really cool. Get my needles foresighted and I get up smashed. I've had worse. I've jabbed witch time and I've died at 0%. It doesn't get worse than that. It literally doesn't get worse than that. <clears throat> you want to know if top players? Uh, no. 
All three of the top players of the world tour could probably get top three without playing Aegis. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. If we decided Kazuyo was better than this, well, it depends. How, I, I, I'm not ordering these tiers, really. Uh, so it just depends. Is Kazuyo better than this, but then the, his counterplay gets better? Is he better than this because his punish game improves? Is he worse than this because uh, people find out how to fight against him overall? Is he worse than this because of his bad matchups? So there's a lot of there's a lot of variables. You need a polished game. Eh, no, that's fair. Some games, some games are really stupid. It's just how it feels. Da, 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 da. No, yeah, the different tiers. They're they're pretty close. They're pretty close. <clears throat> I think Kazuyo is one of the best task characters. I think he can probably theoretically dodge every move. How many are below DK? Uh, five. Yeah, Ka Kazuya in like a theoretical, like super duper awesomely perfect world. One of the best characters. But uh, it's kind of hard. I don't know if humans can do that. Maybe put Robin low? Uh, I'm not a Robin believer. None of these are ordered, so don't think of Robin as literally this low. Robin's probably on the higher end of this. Hollow Knight rep. Uh, preferably Mantis. Not, uh, not actual Hollow Knight. Let me order this real quick. I don't think highly of Duck Hunt. <clears throat> Is this pretty ordered? Um. I don't think highly of Rosalina. Yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> this isn't ordered for the most part. Could you get DDD above Lucario? Yeah, I got you. Incin over Bayo? I think Incin's doing better than Bayo right now. You think highly of the buzz? I think very poorly of Rosalina. And it's not getting better per tournament. You're so sad? I wish Capitan played better. Thinks Pika's that low? Pika is not that good, in my opinion. That's all there is to it. Could I put Puff ahead of Sephiroth? No, I don't, I don't think Puff's. This is like, is, is, this is actually generally ordered. I don't think, I don't think Puff's ahead of Sephiroth. <clears throat> I would if I believed. Rado got fifth. Yeah, I, I don't think I, I'm not a Duck Hunt believer. And the reason for that, as long as Duck Hunt has been a character, I've played a character that beats Duck Hunt. Like solidly. Like solidly. DK? Nah, DK's not at the bottom. You're not seeing K roll? Yeah, you're not. I don't feel like Wolf, Wolf's hard. I, I say this a lot on stream. Wolf's hard to succeed with at the top level. I don't feel like it's getting easier either. I think you can make it to the top level with Wolf, but I feel like succeeding with him is a different story.
What a proper view buff look like? Hmm. The biggest Ryu buff I can think of is if Ryu Shoryuken was strong the whole way. Not like super duper strong, but not what it is. <clears throat> no, I think this is about uh, what I, I think though. So I'm not I'm not gonna change this any further. <laughs> I don't know where to put nothing is ordered. Like, there's nowhere to put it. I feel like the tiers explain themselves very well. Nothing is ordered. It's not... I'm just gonna leave it at that. Do you think people are gonna see that? I don't think people are gonna see that. <laughs> 